Hi there, it's Mark Copeman here in this very short uh, demo. I'm going to explain to you how we can take our brand new embeddable charts feature, which is where you're able to publish your last 100 customer ratings um, as a public widget on your, on your website. Um, and we're actually going to show you how to do this um, on your Facebook page. Um, okay, so on this uh, this page here, and we've already got details how to put it on your WordPress website. If you've just got an HTML website, you can just of course take this uh, this code that you see here on the right hand side, copy it, and paste it onto your page, and it will work. On a Facebook page, um, it is slightly more involved, uh, and I'm going to run through exactly how to do it. So that actually, what you then get. Um, is a as a page if this is your Facebook page here um, if you click on um, one of the pages within it um, you can actually see how this um, it, it is not the most attractive of pages and needs a little bit of sorting out but the the basic principle of embedding that um, that live chart um, in that particular page should also point out before I go any further um, this will work for all widgets that we release in the future this is just the first one um, but uh, let's take a look and see how it's done Okay, so I'm now logged into Facebook and uh, in the admin panel for our particular page here. You'll notice I've just deleted uh, that widget page as well, uh, just so I can explain to you how to add it in the first place. Now this technique will work with any form of HTML code um, that you would like to add to um, one of your Facebook pages. Um, and the way to do it is this. Um, up in the search bar, you need to search for an app called Static HTML and then colon iframe tabs. If you then select that and then click that great big blue button, add static HTML to a page, um, what you'll then be able to do is to select the application you want to associate it with, in our case, customer thermometer here, and then just click the add button. And then what it will do is it will return you back to that particular page. Now it's defaulted, as you can see here, to a page called Welcome. It's actually remembered what I had before. Yours may not say that, um, but it might do, I'm not sure. Okay, so once that app has been installed, all you have to do is click on that page and it basically turns it into a sort of a, um, an editor uh, mode. Um, it's showing you the preview of the page at the minute, which is blank. Okay, what we need to do now is add something to it. So if you click on the green admin tools, then in this particular box down here, I'm just going to scroll up. Um, we just need to add any HTML that we'd like to add. So I'm going to delete what's in there as a default. I'm then going to log into my customer thermometer account. Okay, I'm going to click on uh, settings up in the top here. Um, and then um, if you scroll down and then expand the embeddable charts tab, as you see here. And then what we can then do is we can just put your cursor in there, click and select that little bit of code. Um, and we've had a couple of people asking, just to be absolutely crystal clear, you can see a number of different variables here. This particular number here makes it unique to your account. Nobody can get into your account from it or anything like that. They can't see any of your data. But that particular number identifies it's your account and can therefore pull the right information from the system. So I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to go back into Facebook and I'm going to paste the code in there. Now you, you will probably or possibly get this uh, little message about it not being HTTPS. It doesn't matter. All the uh, browsers we've tested on, it's absolutely fine. Now at the minute, what that will then do is just simply publish the widget. What you might also want to do is just to put a little bit of explanation around it. Um, you might need some help uh, here, just a little bit of HTML uh, or just um, uh, just just add, this is what I had there before, um, so a little bit of explanation behind it, uh, but I'm sure you can find somebody that will actually you know, help you do that. And then you can just click on Save and Publish, or you can preview it as well, but let's click on Save and Published. And if you then click on the Customer Thermometer homepage at the top here, we'll then go back to your main Facebook page. If you now click on the Welcome button, so you can now see the widget is now embedded. Um, if we just log out as well, just to, to prove the fact that um, it will work, um, if you're not on, in admin mode, let's just go back to customer thermometer and we're logged out now. So if we click on that welcome page, again, you see up pops that widget. So that is how to embed your uh, widget inside your Facebook page. It's a great thing for your customers to be taking a look at and for you to be sharing. Um, and um, that's just one of the ways, remember, you can still put it into your WordPress blog um, or into a standard HTML uh, website as well. Hope you found that useful. If you need any more help, then don't forget just drop us a line and we'll be back to you as quick as we can.